During the Paleozoic era, 550 million to 245 million years ago, the Great Basin amassed bedrock thousands of feet thick. But it took the forces of intense heat from the Earth's mantle and dozens of active faults to create the unique basin and range topography seen today. Starting about 43 million years ago, during the Tertiary period, volcanic eruptions spewed lava and ash across the Great Basin, creating volcanic fields. You can see volcanic remnants today, east of the park near Delta, Utah. At the same time, Intense heat from the Earth's mantle forced the crust to stretch and thin over a vast area, a process called rifting. The crust also swelled upward thousands of feet, creating a blister-like dome with some of the thinnest crust on Earth. Over time, the east-west stretching cracked the dome, producing north-south trending faults. Upthrust edges became mountain ranges and downward edges became valleys. The Great Basin landscape was transformed into a distinctive pattern. Basin, range, basin, range, basin, range. The angles of emergence shape the mountains with two distinct slopes, a steep slope and a softer slope. The west side of the Snake Range rises steeply from Spring Valley, while the east side, viewable from Baker, has a gentler slope. The forces that created the Basin and Range landscape are still active today. Geologists use extremely sensitive GPS technology to track minute movements of the Earth's plates. Although they move all the time, we are only reminded of them when an earthquake strikes. By the end of the Tertiary period, the modern structure of the Great Basin topography was set. However, the climate cycles of the Ice Ages weathered the landscape to its existing appearance.